Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So we are in the month of October and of course Rockstar Games have been rolling out a ton of Halloween content in GTA 5 Online to celebrate the Halloween period. These have included re-releasing the old Halloween vehicles, a new Jack O' Lanterns challenge, as well as a bunch of new Halloween masks that could be unlocked in the game. Now of course we also have another event going on in the form of a UFO event where you guys have got to go ahead and and find a new UFO every single day, take a picture of it and send it to a character known as Omega. Now we're going to be talking a little more about that in this video as it looks like we could potentially be seeing this space docker vehicle being released in the near future. If you guys missed my video yesterday then you will know I spoke about the rare pumpkin parachute which was unlocked for one of my subscribers. Now not only did he unlock the pumpkin parachute but he also unlocked all of the brand new masks and rockstar games also unlocked this space docker car for him as you guys can see on screen so we're going to be talking more about that in this video the potential of it getting released as well as some more new content we can expect to see in the coming weeks for the halloween and i'm also going to quickly cover a few topics and a few issues i've seen you guys having with the current ufo event so as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so of course today is day six of the current ufo event and here on screen is the location of today's ufo so it's over by sandy shores and it's actually right underneath this hippie campsite where they've got a bunch of alien themed graffiti and paraphernalia lying everywhere a pretty cool location to go ahead and check out if you guys have never been there before however of course as always make sure you don't go too close to the ufo before you go ahead and take the picture of it as it will go ahead and disappear once you guys go close to it so simply just do as i done on screen make sure you're at least a mile away from the thing go ahead take a picture of it send it to omega and you guys would have completed the challenge today now i'm going to quickly cover a few issues that i've seen you guys having with this ufo event so one issue that i've seen you guys comment in a ton of my videos is if you've missed one ufo have you failed a challenge and can you still go ahead and complete it well in actual fact you can go ahead and still complete the challenge if you have missed one ufo here on screen it shows you guys the exact dates of what ufos are going to be spawning in when so as you guys can see on screen the event started on the 13th and that was ufo number one on the second day it was ufo number two and it continues ufos one two and three are going to repeat on the 25th ufos 5 8 and 11 are going to repeat on the 26th and then ufos 6 10 and 12 will repeat on the 27th and so forth so as you guys can just see on screen whatever ufo you guys missed so whether that was one two five six they will repeat later on in the month so you guys have just got to make sure that you come on later on in the month of course to take the pictures of the ufos that you've missed out on now what that means is there's going to be multiple ufos spawning in on certain days so of course as of right now there's only one ufo spawning in but starting on the 21st you guys will have two ufos spawning in so for example if you don't manage to take the picture of ufo number eight on the 20th that ufo will stay active on the 21st where you can also take a picture of ufo number nine so feel free to add this video to a playlist so you can come back to this and like i said see the dates whenever you guys want and here's another image on screen of the exact locations of what ufos will be spawning where so as i just showed you guys earlier on in the video as you guys can clearly see ufo number six is exactly where it is today right by the lake in sandy shores so hopefully that has cleared up a bunch of issues that i've seen you guys having with this ufo event literally a day doesn't go by without me seeing a comment saying i missed the ufo have i failed the challenge just make sure that you guys remember what ufo you missed so whether that was ufo one two three and then make sure you get on later in the month 
when that UFO will reappear. And of course, there is also going to be a different style of UFO which will be able to abduct you, as well as another one which is going to be known as a stealth UFO over by the military base. Which leads me on to my next question Who is Omega? Of course, when we take these pictures of these UFOs, we have to send them to a contact in a phone known as Omega or Omega, like I said, depending how you pronounce it. And leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys actually pronounce this name, as I have seen quite a few people telling me I've been saying it wrong. However, Omega is actually a character from single player who comes across as a stranger slash freaks, of course, in a side mission where you guys have got to go ahead and collect 50 spaceship parts. Now, once you guys go ahead and collect all 50 parts, there's a car that's in his garage waiting for you to be used, known as the Space Docker. Now, of course, the Space Docker is nothing new. It's been in the game since the very first version. I remember using it on Xbox 360 back in the days when glitches and mods were very, very easy to do. However, I've not seen it being used on current gen PS5 or Xbox series. Now, like I mentioned recently, I came across a subscriber who I do want to give a massive shout who goes by the name of Heezen. If you guys didn't watch my video yesterday, like I mentioned, he had all of the Halloween content unlocked early for him. Now, another thing Rockstar Games unlocked for him was the Space Docker. He can go ahead and request this exactly the same way you guys would with any Pegasus vehicle. So it would get simply delivered to a location where you guys can go ahead and use it. And as you guys can clearly see on screen, this is me recording this on PS5 current gen. And he has actually got the Space Docker available as a personal vehicle. Which of course leads me on to my next point. With this big UFO event going on and Rockstar Games teasing aliens and UFOs in the game for years now? Is it eventually going to lead up to Rockstar Games releasing the Space Docker into the game as a purchasable vehicle? I don't see why they don't because as you guys can see on screen, it just aesthetically looks very good. It doesn't come with any really crazy special abilities. It does come with a unique horn sound which of course sounds like some alien sound effects which I'll quickly play for you guys right now. And also, the lights on the car do glow up at night time, which does look pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. But it does make me think, for completing the UFO event, which is going on right now, all we are going to be unlocking are these caps and this underwear, which a lot of people have been underwhelmed with, including the other challenge, which is also going on to unlock a pumpkin t-shirt, where you guys have got to go ahead and collect 200 jack-o-lanterns so personally if you ask me it would make sense for rockstar games to go ahead and release this space docker in the coming weeks on halloween day and do be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section would you guys also like to see rockstar games release this as a personal vehicle however i just thought it was completely random that this guy had the rare pumpkin parachute all of the new halloween masks and the space docker unlocked for his character make of that what you guys want but like i said i am very very interested to hear from you guys in the comment section down below considering rockstar games are really pushing this big ufo event right now and one of my subscribers who had all of the halloween content unlocked for him also had this vehicle unlocked it really does just make you think if rockstar games will be releasing this car in the near future and personally i wouldn't have this conclusion if he brought the car from single player into online however that wasn't the case like i said because i know for a fact he just had all of the content unlocked for him it does seem a bit fishy that they also unlocked this space docker for him which like i said we've never seen being released in online so hopefully this is a sign that it is coming soon and like i said do be sure to leave your thoughts down low in the comment section however that is going to do it for me guys just a quick video that i thought i'd have to share with you guys of the space docker vehicle on ps5 as well as covering a few issues you guys may have had with the current ufo event as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace